I have owned at least five or six cell phones. I've used in my lifetime cell phone about like 15, 20, a lot. I have my old one and probably maybe like three others, older phones I've in a drawer on a shelf. Yeah. In 1985, there were less than half a million cell phones in the United States. Today, there are 233 million. Well, you just have this tremendous expansion. And Form decided to do a project on this. If we assume that, on average, a person uses a phone for a year and a half, that means over 150 million phones are replaced every year. The question is, what's happening with those 150 million phones? I have about five phones, and they just sit around in the junk drawer. I think most people would take it to the garbage cans. I know my friends, that's what they do. Put it in the trash, it ends up in an incinerator or a landfill from which these toxic substances can leach into the environment, into soil, into water, and into air. And there are a number of legislators who are on to the issue. I was concerned that uh, very few cell phones were being recycled. What my bill does is it requires manufacturers and retailers to take back uh, cell phones for recycling or refurbishing. To my knowledge, not many states have taken this action. So do you know that you can recycle cell phones? No, I didn't know that. So where would you take it? I have no idea. What we've seen is that people are just not aware. Wireless stores can do more to raise awareness about their recycling programs. They can make recycling containers and mail-in bags more visible and communicate with customers more about recycling. So I've just dropped off my old cell phone for recycling. So what happens next? Once the phones arrive at a collection facility here in the U.S., they separate out the chargers and accessories and send those for recycling. The phones are then powered up to be sure they have a good screen and a test call is placed to make sure they work. Some cosmetic work is done, personal data is removed, and new software is often loaded on to prepare the phone for reuse. Refurbished phones that stay in the U.S. are either sold to smaller carriers or to warranty repair programs. Refurbished phones are also sold to overseas markets, such as Asia and Latin America. Unfortunately, there are some electronics that are shipped out of the U.S. that haven't even been tested. The Basel Action Network, a U.S.-based nonprofit, has documented the dumping of non-working electronics in China and Nigeria. There's a real moral issue here about shipping phones to these countries that have no infrastructure to deal with them. Clearly, recycling programs are needed in all countries that receive functional phones for reuse. However, the organization also recognizes that there are responsible recyclers that are committed to upholding high social and environmental standards. The companies that have pledged to uphold these standards set by Basel Action Network are called e-stewards. These companies refuse to make developing countries dumping grounds for our broken down electronics. If they aren't reusable, the phones will be sent to a smelter to recover the metals. Well, here at Yumiko Precious Metal Refining in Hoboken, Belgium, we are specializing in the recovery of precious metals. And if you're thinking about a cell phone, that is indeed a type of material which has a high intrinsic metal value. If we recycle one ton of cell phone, we will recover more than 3.5 kilograms of silver. If you send us three metric tons of cell phones, we will have produced this tiny but valuable bar of gold. And if we recycle the cell phones in an environmentally sound way, it also means that we will have to do less mining. And also by doing less mining, the environment will benefit. The key is to move to a closed loop pattern of materials use. What you have with cell phones and with a lot of products in our society is that we extract the materials, we make them into products, we use them for a very short period of time, and then we throw them away. If we use them longer, if we take them back and recycle them, we are moving to the closed loop pattern. Surveys show people want to do the right thing. Yeah, I think if people knew what it do, so then they would definitely recycle. Certainly, if it doesn't cost them more and it's relatively convenient, I think you'll find people being very cooperative. And we would like to recycle our cell phones if we knew how. Yeah.